okay let us talk about paroxysms so what are paroxysms paroxysms are the extension of endoplasmic reticulum they are a vesicle like structure the sac like structure containing one or some several enzymes which are destined to do the uh, destined to remove uh, the uh, the hydrogen atoms from the specific organic substances because if those uh, hydrogen atoms present in the specific organic substances that can make damage that can make hydrogen peroxide inside the cell and hydrogen peroxide as we know is a bleaching agent which is a bad agent for a cell to live on that's why special organelles like peroxisomes are designed in this picture which is denoted uh, so in this cell there are simple sac like structures designed and they contain the enzyme which will degrade the hydrogen which will remove the hydrogen attaches with the organic substances and finally uh, break those uh, organic sub substances in such a way uh, then the peroxide the hydrogen peroxide is uh, cleaved and removed uh, as it is as making an oxygen along with the water okay so what happens in this case uh, so the in, in paroxysm we have catalase enzymes and also uh, the hydrogen peroxide is enzymes so what catalase enzymes actually does in this case the catalase enzymes actually uh, oxidizes these organic substances which is having the hydrogen uh, attached to it and, uh, and and finally make the hydrogen peroxide and this peroxide is really much toxic that's why uh, they produces the peroxide enzyme and this peroxide enzyme acts on this hydrogen peroxide and it will cleave hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen molecule oxygen is removed uh, oxygen is re released and the, uh, uh, for the cellular work and water is also produced so that's how uh, they eliminate the toxic material inside our cell so they are doing a very good job now what is the basic work of paroxysm let's talk about the structure of paroxysm here these are the electron micro micrographs of paroxysm so this is uh, the chloroplast and this is the mitochondria and besides that we have the paroxysm which is a, a present in the terminal place of the cytosol you can see here okay so in this uh, paroxysm you can see right beside the vacuole why because sometimes the paroxysm contents can be delivered into the vacuole because the vacuoles are the storage of all junk materials inside the plant cell so in paroxysm what we have in this dark region of uh, region in there are lots of different enzymes are doing their works doing their cleaning works which are very very much necessary for a cell to live on okay and paroxysms are mostly seen in the plant cells because in plant cells they need to get rid of this materials really really fast and also we, we can see in animal cells too so how a paroxysm is produced and how the paroxysm is making a division of its own or creating a, another paroxysm on its own so as i have told before the paroxysm is simply the extension of endo endoplasmic reticulum so we have a endoplasmic reticulum which is having the receptor proteins which is having the translocator channel proteins and this the one part of the endoplasmic reticulum is bulged out and this bulged out part of the um, of this endoplasmic reticulum is a paroxysmal precursor vesicle as you can see here and uh, this vesicle is not enough for for fully function for making a function a functional paroxysm but it needs to take the uh, enzymes that is important that is a characteristic of the paroxysm so they need to produce these enzymes the enzymes are produced in the cytosol and these enzymes are being uptaken inside the vesicle and the vesicle is getting bigger and bigger uh, to make a fully functional paroxysm so how these protein molecules are getting entered inside the vesicle via the translocation channel which is present sometimes via the proton gradient force and all these type of forces now one question can uh, arise in your mind that these proteins are produced in cytosol so why not cytosol is uh, doing the job of paroxysm the answer is these protein molecules are having the signal sequence uh, which is destined uh, to deliver them into the paroxysm as soon as, as long as the, they have the signal sequence attached to them they cannot uh, uh, activate it so all these proteins which are having the signal sequence uh, they cannot be activated unless their signal sequence are being cleaved so as soon as their signal sequence are being cleaved they will be activated so uh, so for them to be activated it needs to be carried out from the cytosol inside the paroxysm so they are carried out inside the paroxysm as soon as they are carried inside the paroxysm um, uh, the signal sequence are being cleaved and then this paroxysm um, paroxysmal enzyme proteins are activated and then uh, this vesicles are simply they can they can be fished uh, they can they have they can divide via the fission procedure and they can pr produce small uh, daughter paroxysms like that so that's how uh, a paroxysm is made and it is delivered
And that's how two small vesicles of paroxysm can also be fused together to make a big paroxysm. So that's how the whole system is works. And paroxysm contains those enzymes which is helping, uh, which is helping to establish a particular function which is really, really positive, really, really helpful for a cell to live on. Okay.